What's going on across the country? As I mentioned before, not a whole lot. That high pressure is just kind of continuously dominating the central part of the country. We still do have that little tropical system. There's not a tropical depression, tropical storm, but it is tropical-like uh, down near Corpus Christi, basically the southeastern tip of, uh, of Texas. And overall, if you look here, you can see right where the ridge is. It's just spinning over the Oklahoma and Texas panhandle. That's what this kind of arch is right here and all this <clears throat> clockwise flow. You look over towards the east coast, jet stream kind of takes a little bit of a southeastern dip, and then you have this upper level low up near Maine. So we're just kind of underneath this ridge right now, but this is going to slowly start to move back to the west. It's already starting to show some signs of that, which we're going to enjoy because it's going to bring us some much cooler weather and some rain chances. Temperatures across the state, 70s and 60s right now, so it's a pretty nice start to your Sunday, but by this afternoon, uh, it's not going to be a great way to end uh, your week. You know, with temperatures near the century mark, heat index values above 100 degrees. And the UV risk up in that very high category starting at noon, but going especially one, two, and three o'clock. The good news is we're past kind of the worst part of the year in terms of the UV uh, rays, just because the sun's angle is getting a little bit lower in the sky because we are actually, the days are getting shorter. I don't know if you know this, but the days are getting shorter right now. And so that's gonna help kind of keep these numbers down a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. As terms of the heat indices, these are not going down for at least the next couple of days. Uh, we're talking about near 106. This is really actually for tomorrow. And then for your Tuesday, near 104. And by Wednesday, I'm off on a day here, uh, we're going to drop down to the 80s for those daytime highs. It's going to be nice overall, I imagine. So tomorrow morning, temperatures in the 70s. By tomorrow afternoon, we'll have a few pop-up showers, especially in far northeastern Oklahoma. Again, a lot of us aren't going to see anything, so don't be surprised if you don't. <clears throat> we'll be near the century mark or even slightly above it. And then we go into your Tuesday, mid to upper 70s. But notice on up to the north and to the west, we start to see where these blue arrows are. That is our cold front. That's going to start to march southeastward. And then by Tuesday afternoon, we're going to be, once again, high temperatures above 100 degrees. But that cold front moves on through Tuesday night. It's going to give us our best chance for showers and storms, especially in northeastern Oklahoma and southwestern Missouri. But notice this. Really, what I'm excited about is not necessarily the rain. We do need it but not the rain, but just the cooler temperatures overall. We'll be in near 70 degrees for Wednesday morning. By Wednesday afternoon, and we'll have some upper 90s down along the Red River where that colder air takes a little bit colder. Cooler air takes a little bit longer to filter on in. We'll be in the lower 80s in our far northern viewing area. So again, a very nice night uh, to or way to end your Wednesday. And same story kind of for your Thursday as well. Then we go into your Tuesday night. Again, I mentioned before, a very low threat of some severe weather in our far northeastern counties just because this is a fairly dynamic system. In terms of kind of timing it out here, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning is the best chance, uh, especially if you're northeast of Tulsa, south and west of Tulsa, these chances go down a little bit to about a 10 to 20% chance. So again, don't be surprised if you don't see anything west of Tulsa. The next seven days, rainfall not looking great overall, maybe upwards of an inch in some locations. Again, we need the rain, but we're still uh, not looking like any great rain chances ahead for us. Just some cooler temperatures, which I think we can all uh, enjoy. So triple digits for today, tomorrow, and your Tuesday. Then come the rain chances. Wednesday's down to the 80s. Same story on your Thursday or back up to near 90 by Friday and Saturday. There's your seven-day planner.